I think all along it's been having a vision of the big picture. Uh, to do something uh, that's good uh, for others, that others can benefit. And then we come along uh, for the ride, so to speak. So I used to have a quote back in college. I tacked it onto my cork board in front of my desk, and I believe it was by the president, uh, Calvin Coolidge, who talked about persistence and determination, that these two traits could outweigh uh, other gifts that people were given. And certainly I had that. I had a very successful steel business. I had an orderly shutdown decided to make Girder Slab my life's work and really wanted to make it uh, succeed. There are three generations of my family that have been involved in the structural steel industry. My grandfather was an erector and a rigger. My father got involved in what we would call today a service center and he worked there until the uh, advent of the uh, Second World War. Uh, he joined the United States Navy Construction Battalion, the Seabees. So after the war, uh, Dad came back and started a small structural steel supply company and they were selling lolly columns and lentils uh, and that morphed into a <coughs> 50,000 square foot shop I joined the company uh, during the summer months of elementary school. I think I was 12 years old. Started to work in the paint department. <clears throat> Eventually graduated to a single punch iron worker. Uh, then learned how to burn and ream. Of course I was on the dumb end of the reamer. But I did that throughout uh, high school. And in uh, college, I started to work in the office, learned to do takeoff work, uh, run the weights, put together an estimate, and eventually started quoting jobs and negotiating <coughs> jobs with, uh, with general contractors. The most uh, noticeable thing to me has been the explosion in computer technology and automated fabricating equipment. Um, the quality and the productivity has just skyrocketed. Um, the industry has come a very long way since we used to burn holes out with a torch and ream them with a uh, reaming machine. Well, certainly people, uh, meeting the fabricators, the erectors, and basically everybody else from the industry. I had a relatively small business, a uh, localized business within 50 to 100 miles maybe of southern New Jersey. And the exposure getting out and meeting people throughout the United States and Canada uh, has really been an extraordinarily fulfilling experience. I have to come back to Steve Jobs. Um, he purely uh, told us what it was all about, that life is short, just take a risk, jump off a cliff, and when you look back, at least you know you'll try it uh, with a new idea.